Maeve sat next to Addie in English class. Maeve instructed Addie to do the essay, and both got good grades. Addie happily said, From now on, you, Maeve, is Addie's best friend. Would you like to go to my birthday party? Oh, I really want. Thank you, Addie. No big deal. We are BFF. <laughs> Maeve happily arrived at the scheduled party. Hello! When no one had arrived, and Addie asked Maeve, Oh, everyone is about to come, and I still haven't decorated yet because I need to prepare a dress to wear. Please help me write a happy birthday banner and climb up the ladder to decorate with the balloons and ribbons on the high wall. Oh, okay. Go get your dress ready. I'll do it right away. Yeah, thanks, BFF. Addie put on makeup and dress. Oh. Please, come in my room and wait for me. I'll let you borrow another dress and do makeup in a moment. Oh, yes! <laughs> she waited forever without Addie coming in. Outside the room, the laugh and voice were loud. Seems that everyone had lots of fun at the party. By the time Maeve went out, everyone was gone. <gasps> Addie was gone too. Maeve went home and was very sad. When she turned on her phone, a series of posts mocking her in an ugly appearance on Twitter. <laughs> Hearing her crying, Mrs. Melinda knocked on the door, came in and sat next to her. What's the matter, my dear? Grandma, Addie invited me to the birthday party, but then... I'm so sad, Grandma. She said I was her BFF. Why did she do that? <laughs> Grandma smiled, fondled Maeve's head. Oh, so you and Addie are BFF? Uh, I have this story about a couple of best friends. Then she told me the story of two friends and the bear. In a certain city, there is a rich girl, Alice, who has a hobby of baking. She often brings the poorer Anna with the cakes she has made. Anna is very skillful, loves crafts, sewing, and is thoughtful. <laughs> Close to her birthday, Alice wanted to go on an adventure, so she invited Anna to go with her. The two plan to go exploring the forest. Alice gives Anna the fabric and money to ask her friends to make clothes and buy the necessary supplies for her while wow, traveling. Thank you. Let's prepare beautiful costumes together with Anna to go exploring.
The two went on a hot air balloon ride to the forest. <laughs> Anna, you're okay, luckily. This bear is gentle. Yes, this bear is very gentle and also intelligent. Oh? Why do you say this bear is intelligent? The bear told me people who abandon friends in trouble are not true friends. Alice shyly apologized to Anna. Sorry! And the two girls went home together. May finished listening to her grandmother. She stopped crying and seemed to understand something. The bear told me people who abandon friends in trouble are not true friends. <laughs>